Hey there, this is Christiana from the Historical Museum at Fort Missoula, and I'm making this video for you today to talk to you about what's in your activity kit. So, you may have gotten an activity kit at Boys and Girls Club, or possibly from the food bank, or maybe you're just curious about what this whole Lunar New Year thing is, and that's why you're watching this video. So, if you did get a kit, and I will link um, in the comments to some PDFs of what's in the kit, you'll have a little baggie that's got a little New Year's greeting, and then a couple of pieces of paper that are gonna be the nose and ears and horns of our ox. And we'll get to that later, but I'll dump them out on my table so they're ready. Okay, then you'll have a piece of paper. It might be more traditionally ox color, like brown, or you could have a red one, which is an important color for Chinese New Year or Lunar New Year. Then you're gonna have two stapled things of paper. This one is gonna be a little bit about New Year's in Montana. And then the second page is your instruction sheet for your origami ox envelope. So I'll keep that one out so I can show you what we're doing. And then the other packet is really neat. It is a booklet that was made by the Montana Historical Society. So not my museum, but our big museum in Helena. And it's all about uh, Chinese immigrants in Montana. So when you open this up, um, you'll see pictures of Chinese folks as miners and other things, but you'll also see lots of cool pictures of artifacts, which if you know me, I love artifacts. So that's one of the reasons why that came with you. Because as you may have already gathered, our theme this week is the Lunar New Year. Um, also known as Chinese New Year. But Lunar New Year just means that uh, we have a calendar, our calendar that we generally use um, in American society um, or Western society in general is based on the sun and the way the sun revolves around the earth. That's right, right? Yeah. Or the earth revolve. Sorry, the earth revolve around the sun. <laughs> uh -huh. Sometimes grown-ups make mistakes too. Um, but then the other way to count time is by the cycles of the moon. So the lunar calendar is slightly different, and you can read all about that in your packet here. So in lots of East Asian countries, they celebrate Lunar New Year. Um, China is a very big country, so we talk a lot about Chinese New Year. And we had a bunch of Chinese immigrants in Montana and Missoula specifically in the late 1800s and early 1900s. So it's relevant to the history of Missoula. But this year is the year of the ox. And there's a really cool video um, that I will, um, that's in your PDF or in your activity kit about all of the different animals of the Chinese zodiac and the ox specifically. So definitely check that one out. But let's get down to the tough stuff. We are going to make ourselves an ox envelope. So we've got our piece of paper. You're gonna fold the corners together so that you make a triangle. This of course is easier if you put it down on your table. But I'm just showing you what I'm doing. I don't have my normal tripod here, so it's a little tricky. Okay, make sure I don't make mistakes. I might accidentally make a paper cup because I know how to do that. Okay, then you fold down the top of your triangle, but just one part of it, so that it meets the bottom. So, what I did there, it was folded up like this, I folded it down so it met the bottom. So then we've got a triangle here, triangle here, triangle here, triangle here, they're all about the same. Now comes the tricky part. We're gonna fold the outside triangles in toward the center and they're gonna overlap just a teeny bit. So I did the first side and it crosses over the middle. Now I'll do the second side. Second side, folded it over. You can see it's a little, not quite even. Crosses over right there. Now this part is a little bit interesting. We're gonna make a little lip so that our 
envelope can tuck in to the bottom. We'll see if it works. I'm not sure if this one's going to work. We'll find out. Okay, so remember how we had our long corners cross over? Well, now we take one of the pointy things and kind of squish it flat so it makes a little cup. And if you have the activity kit, you can see on there how that works. Also a link to the original person who put this together if I didn't make this up. Then the last step to making your envelope part is just to fold the top down so it sits in that little cup. Helps if you stick your tongue out when you're concentrating. Okay, so what that looked like here is I folded it over so that the tip would fit right in that little cup. So if you just plain wanted an envelope, there you've got an envelope. But we want more than that because it is the year of the ox. So we are gonna make this into an ox. So you have in your kit two horns, two ears, and the start of a nose. I'm gonna start with my nose. Your nose is gonna go on the tip of your envelope mm, foldy part. There's probably a special word for that that I can't remember right now. So I'm going to put some glue on that. And I'm going to stick it on the front of the envelope. So now we've got a nose. Now, ox. Oxen have ears. So we're going to add some ears. And what we're going to do for the ears is we're going to flip over the envelope and put the ears on the back side so it's kind of peeking out the front. And we'll do that with both of our ears. So we've got one ear. And now we have two ears. Okay, now we have a critter that has the start of a nose and two ears. But ox, oxen, they have horns. And I've been looking at lots of pictures of oxen. And they were very important animals in lots of different agricultural societies, including here in Montana. They were especially good at pulling wagons for homesteaders because oxen can eat more kinds of grain than horses can. So they could kind of just eat whatever was going on. Okay, I've got one ear. Again, I pasted it to the back of my envelope. Did I call it an ear? It's a horn. And then the other one is gonna go on the back there. And then we have a very lucky ox, because it's bright red. But he's missing some things. I think he's missing some nostrils for his nose and some eyes. If you have googly eyes or if you wanna use more paper at home, feel free. I'm just gonna take a marker and draw on some eyes. Like so. And then he needs some nostrils so he can smell. And then we got our nose there. So let's see if it still works to tuck it in there. I may have glued it in the wrong spot, but kind of. There's our little lucky ox. And then also in your packet, you would have gotten this little New Year's greeting. So you can color it if you want, and then you can stick it in your envelope. And then you can go find someone who you want to wish a happy new year to. And then you can stick it in the envelope. Okay, this is something I just learned. So you just have to be careful with our, your envelope because the part where you insert something is gonna be there. If you try to put it in here, then it just falls out the bottom. So you can experiment at home and figure it out. 
I believe in you. All right, so we got our guy all tucked in, ready to go. And then I will wish you a very happy year of the ox. The ox is known as being reliable and strong and inspires confidence. So hopefully we'll have that kind of a year this year. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me at the Historical Museum at Fort Missoula. Um, you can give me a call, find me through the website. Um, and I think that's it for this week.